Hello there and welcome here to a new tutorial about some tree generator pipeline question I recently got from some uh, person. And as you might know with this great tree generator you're able to create your own vegetation and trees and also plants from a very cool model here that is generated from scratch inside of Houdini. I'm using the latest uh, Houdini 17.5.360 and I give you a short introduction about how this asset is working and how you can easily export your geometry over to another package like uh, Maya. So we have here um, the branches which are created and assembled by the trunk. And you have the possibility to enter your segments, your divisions, the texture frequency when you want to use your own textures. And we here have our growth uh, parameter. So at the moment it's set to 15. I'm going to set it to 35. And let's cook this simulation here. It's actually pretty fast uh, depending on your machine. But you get a very fast result from your changings and your tree. And as you can see we have here a much larger tree with uh, different detail approaches and um, we also want to use gravity in the force section. You can uh, adjust a lot of different parameters and values to get the desired result. And also the texturing of your tree is um, very easily covered. So for the, um, for the trunk, we want to also change the width so to make it a more massive tree so i enter here something like 0.8 and with 0.8 you can see we have a much more massive trunk here that represents a very massive tree with uh, everything else like the branches you can um go on the branches tab and enter the length here uh, to a value that fits your your needs but I will jump right to the leaves and change the uh, leaf size to something more bigger like we have here 0 0.15 I change it to 40 45 and you can see we have here a very interesting result from the size of the leaves. So if you are interested in this uh, great asset for creating vegetation, plants, trees and everything um, nature related, then you can get this asset for a fairly good price on uh, digitalalchemist.com. Okay, so let's go to the material here. In the material tab, we have the possibility to change our material. We have here the leaves and we also have the branches. And you can see that it points over to a shop network, like a shader network here. And we have here the leaves and we have the branches. So. To change your texture, you actually go right inside your map slot here, where we have Bark 70, uh, 2070, TIFF assigned, and you can easily change this here when you hit the button with the little arrow here to change your own texture of that tree. You do the same for the leaves. For the leaves we have a leaf texture here, a PNG, and this can easily be changed also uh, 
here in the in the tab. So now I, I assigned a normal map, which is not very intelligent. Let's take the bark. It's also not the right way to do it. Now it has some bark texture, but you can see the creation is fairly for, straightforward and you can get very interesting results. So when you want to make your tree um, export it to another package like maybe 3D Studios Max or Maya or Blender even, then you can go here on the tree generator, right the, uh, hit the right button on your mouse and go to allow, allow editing of content. I already did this, so it's open now. Dive inside your, sh your network tree here and assign a ROP geometry node on top of the tree mesh output node. In that uh, node here, you can use an output format like OBJ or Alembic or whatever is um, good for your pipeline. And then you can save it to your disk. In our case, I save tree, tree 2. Hit save to disk. Wait a second. And make sure you jump into the next package. As you can see, I already imported the first tree here inside Maya and it's also very nice separated from the trunk and from the leaves. And then you can go ahead in Maya and texture everything, apply forces and do whatever you need for your project. So let's go to the import panel here. And let's import the second tree. And as you can see, the tree is actually also here in the viewport. And that's actually everything you need to put your geometry into another package. As you can see, we have the trees, uh, the, the leaves here, we have the trunk here and everything else you need for your uh, project or studies or whatever. So if you still have questions about this awesome asset, how you can um, make it fitting your needs, then write us an email. We are happy to answer your questions and hope you learned something in this little quick tip here on VFX Hive. Stay tuned and like our video, follow us and stay tuned for awesome content soon. Thank you very much. See you soon.